Introducing the all new Corolla. Yes, it, it, it's been a pretty good year for us. Um, I've probably in the three and a half years that I've been at DPW, this was the, the, the one school year that I, I had the least number of people calling me up. Uh, to complain about the school up bus operations. With an expanded bus fleet, the Department of Public Works gave a mostly optimistic report to lawmakers this morning as a roundtable discussion was held on bus operations for the upcoming school year. DPW Director Carl Dominguez says there are currently 139 buses in the department's fleet, 125 of which are expected to be roadworthy by mid-August. The department was also recently given the OK to move forward with the purchase of at least 12 additional 60 passenger buses through Department of the Interior funding, making their next concern personnel. We're, we're always concerned about the uh, turnover of our personnel and bus operations. Um, I've said repeatedly that uh, we, we can get a resignation, a fi five day notice for a resignation, but often it takes upwards of four months to get a replacement behind uh, the, the wheel of the school bus. That's always a concern. DPW currently runs 179 routes, and even with the opening of a new high school in Tietzen this year, Bus Operations Superintendent Franklin Titano says the routes will remain the same. The Tietzen High School is not going to affect us because the students that were going to Okaloo before would just go straight up. They'll just ride the same bus go to a different location. But the time starts different. They're, they start earlier than they used to start before. So all those students that were, were um, moved would just get on the same bus that they were riding before and go to a different school. It's anticipated that DPW will transport 28,000 public school students and just under 2,000 private school pupils during the next school year. Betsy Brown, PNC News.